Hey guys, welcome back to Dawn Rule 16. I am your host, Javon, and today we're about for a brand new benchmark. Today we're testing an outcast, the new beginning for the PC. Today we're running this on my Intel Core i3-10105 with the NVIDIA GDX 1060 3GB VRAM graphics card. I ran it with 16GB of DDR4 RAM in dual channel memory, and well, this is surprisingly well done. If 3 gigabytes of VRAM, it's somehow managing to do something. We're running at 1080p on the low preset. We have screen percent. It's still at 100% resolution. And like I said, we're running on low low settings. Everything else across the board just to give us a chance. Now, from what I'm seeing here, this game is playable like this. It is very CPU demanding. As you can see, my CPU is there like, help, please. I'm dying over here. Don't do this to me, Javon. But I'm like, I, I, I got to. We're just going to go over to the combat area, but as you can see, the CPU is being pushed heavily. This crap is demanding for a CPU. Okay, my frame rate just, just dipped like crazy. My frame rate just went down. Holy crap, my frame rate just said nope. Who thought this was? So, this I'm going to guess this is an Unreal Engine 5 game. I'm, or maybe not, I'm not sure. Once again, I'm still not sure. This is just the demo of the game. Obviously, the game comes out next month, and I just thought, hey, I'd, I'd, beat, I'd beat the crowd and get here quicker, so that when it actually comes out, I don't have to worry about testing it on too much hardware, because I've already tested it on a lot. But 1080p low seems to be playable. If I want to hit 60, I'm probably going to have to drop the rendering scale to like 70%, maybe. Actually, no, I, I actually don't think I can do that, because what I'm seeing here is my CPU is struggling. So if I was to drop that render scale now, I, I just I'd really run into a CPU bottleneck. I would. I'd just run into a CPU bottleneck. So that's probably not for the best. That's not the best course of action here. To get 60 FPS with an i3 is, is probably not really in the cards for this for this title. It would seem. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. On all that, don't forget to please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. You guys got a GDS 1063 gig too? Because I'm completely maxed out here. The VRAM is completely maxed out. It's using a lot more RAM than I... using 9 gigs of RAM. That's a lot more than I believe it used for the Vega. Because we are being pushed. Oh, snap. It launched me. It launched me again. Do you not die? Oh, like... Bro, I'm shooting this thing. Okay. But yeah, from what you can see with my CPU hitting in the 70s, that's never good. That's not a good sign. That's a sign of, bro, I think you need to pr prioritize some things. The CPU's struggling over here. <laughs> okay, so after a while, the frame rate is starting to smooth out. Obviously, when I start some of these games, I start immediately into the benchmark. So you'll watch it smooth. I want you guys to experience everything I experience. So watch it smooth out the same time I see it smooth out. It's pretty important to me to know that you will see some stutter at first. Don't be alarmed by it. Eventually, it gets better. It's basically what, what I do here. So, yeah, it's not the worst, but obviously, it, it could do better. You could do better. And just for the sake of transparency, we will... Oh, crap, I don't know why I came over here. Just to see, so I'm getting about 46, 47 FPS in this area, just to see if we can actually somehow attain, I don't recommend this, but for those of you with maybe a faster CPU, let's do 85%. We're really going to be pushing our CPU here now though. Yeah, you see what I mean? Like, I gained barely anything from this, and my CPU is that much closer to a bottleneck. <laughs> And honestly, it looks way more blurry here. We are getting 60 at points now, but it's a lot more blurry. Oh crap, wait, wait. I, I, I go up in the air and he still hits me? I didn't even shoot that one. Yeah, probably not the best. I'm curious to see how this is going to run on an, the, 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 the 960 dude. Like how how is this going to run on a 2 gig card? Considering right now it's, it's, it's utilizing more than 3 gigs right now. 
Like, to the point that it's having issues. I mean, will we have a slowdown effect in this game? The 3 gig card doesn't have the slowdown effect. And to be honest, like I said, 1080p low actually still looks quite good in this game for some reason. I guess they optimized it to look really well. Like, it still looks good. Yes, some areas look a little flat. Shadows are definitely took a back seat. But other than that, it looks somewhat decent still. Anyway, uh, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. I'm just going to mute myself, so enjoy the rest of the gameplay, and I'll see you guys next time.